Hi, I'm Ed Burke, and I'm here to talk to you about temperature compensation or net billing versus gross billing. All your life when you go to the store, buying milk is easy because a gallon is a gallon, and you buy the gallon for 238. This is measured at a constant temperature, approximately 38 degrees. The world of petroleum is different. This is what the petroleum world looks like. Here you have three different gallons and three different prices, 238, 240, and 242 for a gallon of diesel. But this one's at 80 degrees, this is at 60, and this is at 40. The reality is these three are all the same price on a temperature-adjusted basis. Here's what the petroleum looks like. As you can see, they're all the same. What we do is we use Table 6. And where does Table 6 come from? The American Petroleum Institute and ASTM publish a book, and in that book is Table 6B, Temperature Adjusted Volume, Volume Correction Factors. So one would, in the case of the 80 degree product, I would simply go to the appropriate page, look up the factor, so at 80 degrees, my factor is 0.9907. So my volume, instead of being a gallon, is considered 0.9907 gallons, hence the price adjustment. Uh, across the country, many people are moving to net billing because it's the fairest. The National Conference of Weights and Measures will worry about uniformity. Hence, at a retail gas station, the cost may be prohibitive. But in the world of truck terminals and bulk gallons and home deliveries, Net billing, or temperature-adjusted billing, is the fairest and best system. Thank you very much.